We're going to talk about relationships and uh, cheating. If you claim you love your partner, will you cheat on them? Can you cheat on your partner and still love them at the same time? Well, Speaker Ado has joined us once again, and then we're going to pick his brain on this subject. Speaker, good morning. Bro, how are you doing? Very well, and yourself? Fantastic. I'm good. Great. I'm, good. I'm good. good. I'm good. So, is it possible? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is a very dicey topic. Yeah. And when <laughs> I was told, and I put it on my handle, social media handles, mm -hmm. the responses that I'm having, mm -hmm. very interesting, okay. very, very interesting okay. responses that okay. I'm having on social media. People are giving justified reasons mm. that probably, yes, it's possible that they will... Um, cheat mm -hmm. and even the cheating for me the preamble that i'm building is that are you cheating with money okay are you cheating with time mm. are you cheating with other resources okay are you cheating with um anything your 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 knowledge or mm. what so people e pe explain those those things things to us good yeah. so people say that i'm in partner business partnership with you we are working on something and you have cheated me of my portion or mm. my percentage. That mm. is a cheat. Mm. Meaning that what is deservedly yours, you really deserve it, it's yours. It has been cheated onto you. And people apportion certain things that are supposed to be yours per agreement that you go into. And here the ordinance, relationship or either marriage, and say that because you have assumed this role or this position, this is what you are entitled to. Mm. These are the things that you, 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 you can have access to and they are yours for this number of years or for this period. Others are to eternity. That is marriage. Yeah. That is eternity. So I, I'm asking, I'm also throwing the question to our viewers that which aspect of your life do you share with people? Mm. They say that the Bible says that and the two shall be one. For me, I have developed a theory and I said, indeed, the two will never be one. They can never be one. Explain. In the sense that, Kweku, when we get married, I had responsibilities. Mm. My wife also had her responsibilities. Mm. Her family were looking up to her. My family were looking up to me. Then my career, society, I'm supposed to also serve society. I'm also supposed to build my career. Look at all these examples that I've given to you. We are all coming on the same table. And we are supposed to put all these together to push ahead within one goal. All of us are supposed to merge our goals together. As you sit here, mm. once in a while, you put out some money somewhere. Mm. Once in a while, you take some trip and go and see the folks back home. Yeah. That is time. Mm. Yourself is not to your wife entirely. Yeah. As you sit here, True. you are working. Mm. Now, mm. probably she might be at home or he might be at home, whoever your partner is. And to the viewers, the time that you are supposed to spend with your partner you try as much as possible to share it mm. with you, her, him, with society, building your career also. Mm. So on that score alone, it's a form of cheating. Uh, well, I think you're stretching the issue. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So people want us to <laughs> narrow yeah. it down to having another relationship with someone else. Mm which might result in sexual interactions. I don't know if that is what... You... Is that... Would that, be the, would that be the only thing, though? Because mm. I understand that with cheating, mm. there's, a, there's, a, there's a range. So yeah. be, from emotional, you know, the aspect of um, being unfaithful mm -hmm. emotionally. Good. I'm, or, I'm already starting to pull somebody into the emotional space yeah. where only my partner should be yeah. you know so that's where it starts from before then it becomes you know physical mm. if 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 it ever gets there yes so i think that's really what we want to we want to dwell on well, we, should narrow, guess, we should narrow down i on mean that. i mean that's what i think that's what people's challenges <laughs> ah. usually are with because if if you don't give me enough time yeah um and I can understand where your time is going, mm -hmm. I may not necessarily challenge it mm -hmm. or, or perceive it as being cheated on. Okay. But if, I, if you're not giving me enough time and I find that you've been spending time with somebody else, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. who um, could potentially or possibly be um, an intruder yeah. in the relationship, 
then that you know qualifies as cheating. I think that would be fair. In most okay. So mind. what is supposed, what you deserve, what is supposed to be given to you, the space within which you are supposed to operate. Yes. That is supposed to be defined for you alone. Mm. When something of that sort is being given to someone, when that space is being closed gradually, but being open for someone else, that is called teaching. Koku, I say that each and every one, the relationships that we build with people is based on what we feel that we are comfortable around the person. What true, I agree. Yes, what we go into, oh, Koku is fine. He can help me with my spiritual life. Mm. So let me, let, me, let me get along with him. As soon as he is this, financially, Charlie, me I'm me scan him. To me, the person also has yeah. some money. So yeah. then me attach, then at least the person can also support me. Mm. So we go in and build relationships with expectations. Now, those expectations are one out of a lot from you, the needs and your wants. Mm -hmm. And there is someone else somewhere that you connect with so much on a different level. Mm. There is someone that probably you love to engage in, talk about politics. And that person might be an opposite sex. Yeah. So your partner wouldn't be necessarily interested in politics. But you to your being, as Professor <laughs> Goski, Alabi Goski was saying, that her husband is born politics. Mm. And if she is not interested, if another female person is interested in politics and her husband continuously has that interaction with the person, and as per the person is intruding a little bit into a space, mm -hmm. and you say, the relationship is that I'm supposed to find in you a friend, I'm supposed to find in you a comforter, a father, a brother, and then any other thing at all. If some of these things are missing, probably the person also find it in someone else. So if we don't connect in one aspect of life, but I connect with someone in another aspect of life, mm. and I try to also build that sort of relationship, that is not so much of emotion draining, but it's not so much of the leading into sex or other things like that, but really you feel that I am in my right mental state. Everything is going on well. I relate with you well. We have a normal chat. We go on as a family. We go on as, as, as people who are dating. And it is not too much. It's not affecting us. Here, people are more concerned about when other relationships beyond what they have affect it. And here I say that people go like, oh, uh, this person does this thing this way. Why don't you also do it? You are drawing the person's attention that you have identified something unique in someone that you feel that you are attracted to it. And you are trying to build that sort of thing in your partner. So you are trying to get a partner to turn into someone that probably she is not. So you, you yourself, you love the person, but there are certain things that really do not sit with you. Mm. I am going to be realistic with you. It's not everything about my wife that I like. Do you get me? Mm. It's not everything about me that my, my wife likes. Right. But that's what makes us human. So that then, is it. Yeah. Do you get me? Mm. So at the end of the day, if she finds something about me that she complains, she finds something about me that she doesn't like, but probably she finds it in someone else, and then she's close to that person, will I consider that as cheating? Is she cheating? My wife is in a different so, field altogether. Yeah. So if most of her time she spends talking about medical things with her colleagues mm. who are male. Do, do, I, do, I, do I scream and say that, why are you spending much time with a CMSC talking about this issue? Okay. That is all my field. Okay, so then, so then let's do this. Mm -hmm. So then what is cheating? What is yours mm -hmm. has been appropriated to you mm -hmm. legally mm -hmm. or through natural birth mm -hmm. given to you, mm -hmm. but someone else somewhere trying to deny you mm. of that. Someone else somewhere trying to take away that thing from you mm. illegally. Mm. That is what I call cheating. So can, you love, so can you love someone and cheat on them? You can love someone and cheat on them and deny them certain things. Okay. You can love someone mm. and deny them a part of you. You can love someone not deliberately but circumstance, situational, at the end of the day, will deny you certain things. Now, let's talk about long-distance relationship here. Mm. Long-distance marriages. And when I put this on my social media handles, most of the things that came out 
was that, listen, I need my partner to be of this person. I have tried very well for the partner to be like that. A chatty person, mm. a relaxed person. So if I'm not getting that and somebody is giving me that, I am also gradually leaning towards that person. Mm. So two years you are outside in someone else's land, hustling for money for the kids and myself here. But you know be firewood. Let's be realistic. How do you, even you the one there outside of Ghana, satisfy your sexual desires? How do I also satisfy my sexual desire? Here, we are all sexually active. Yeah, but if somebody would say that, okay, now I'm not mm -hmm. trying to break your thought, but well, somebody would say that, well, if you know that sex is going to be a challenge, yeah. then design a relationship that aff affords you to be able to be more, uh, to be with each other more frequently, yeah. even if it's not always, mm. you know, um, as opposed to now trying to figure out who can I satisfy my desires with? Mm -hmm. You see, that is it. Sometimes we plan, but sometimes God disposes. And certain things that we don't even foresee, they happen. Do you wish to live your life here in Ghana? What are your academic dreams? What are your career dreams? Do you want to study abroad? And when you get married, when you move, are we moving together? Oh, I'll be back. It's just a six months training program. I'll be back. Six months. Leaving me, six months. Then you go. Six months, oh, Kweku, six months. Some will you, say six months, well, it's, no, it's not a lot. Is, do you know what we are doing to ourselves? Tell me. Do you know what we are doing to ourselves as a people? We are hypocrites. We are hypocrites to ourselves. And I laugh at it because I, I see certain, some of these cases and they come before me. And somebody has been outside of Ghana for the past five years. Mm. And the wife is here. And there are people who pay people just to satisfy them sexually. Yeah, I've heard of that. You've heard of that? Mm -hmm. It's going on. Both men and women. Married men and married women who are doing it in the comfort of their homes. There are people, there was a recent case that a woman, though her child has stopped breastfeeding, almost about five years old or something, whenever she's in the mood, she calls the child, to come and start sucking her breast. And she, be, she gets into the mood. And sexually, she masturbates. Oh, wow. So you see this. Oh, wow. That's Meanwhile, that's disturbing. this is very disturbing. Meanwhile, this person is sitting there and saying, I am being faithful to my husband. She's hustling in a brochure to bring us money. But you yourself, have you been realistic with yourself? Kweku, I can't contain it. I can't meet me, Shame Honso. Why won't you open up to the person? So, in order for us to just keep up things behind the scenes, now look at this kid. Gradually, do you know what the mother can be doing with this kid? Hmm. Gradually, do you know how many people this woman or this man can be sleeping around with? So, if circumstances that are beyond your control, you have moved outside and the person needs to join you, please plan. Plan very well. If it is not feasible, if you are the person who is <laughs> highly emotional, your libido is very high, and you feel that, Charlie, within a month, if I don't get something, I am not stable in my mind. Why would you allow yourself sit on the table and have a discussion and say that there is a job opportunity outside of Ghana? Mm. I need to go and do it. So in the next five months or six months, I'll be away. I hope you'll be fine. I say, yes, I'll be fine. And you know why? Because of our nurturing, we were groomed up not to really open up and talk about sex. Yeah. But most of these issues are coming up because of sex. It's because of sex. If it has to do with companionship, I can just walk to my friend and just tell him, okay, let's have a conversation. We'll just be talking. Mm. But the thing that is done behind closed doors, under the cover of darkness, that is what people do not see. And that is the sex. And that is what every now and then we base on that to say that someone has cheated on someone. Mm. There are people there that they are not sexually satisfied by their partners. They are very adventurous when it has to do with sex. Mm. So when they have the sexual interaction or intercourse with their partner, they are not satisfied. And so probably they think about one X B somewhere B that they feel that they can run, move with, and they can just go in with. They can feel that they have someone somewhere that they can do with. It has to do with health. Mm. <clears throat> I have a friend, very married, for the past <laughs> 10 years. <clears throat> His wife 
has undergone surgery, yeah. underwent surgery. And it was like for the next about, say, five months, nothing is supposed to happen between them. And this friend that I know, this friend that I know, it's a boy's boy's kind of friend. Mm, 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 he mm. likes the this thing. Okay. You see, he yeah. likes the this thing. And the doctor says in, that for the in, next in five copious days, amounts. Yes! So. It must be given to him <laughs> as and when he desires for it. And this, because of medical condition yeah. for his wife, mm. says that don't go there until five months, until your wife recovers fully. Wow. Well, this thing, mm. what will he do? But yeah, other ways. Other ways of the work. wife can help me do, do what? to to have you know a good a good uh, sexual experience. If you are not also into that other condition, mm -hmm. that condition, mm -hmm. people call it. I think they say they have something named for it, Deuteronomy or something like that. Which one is that? That one. Okay. Uh -huh. Whatever. I know uh -huh. what you're talking about. <laughs> if I'm not into that, but I really want the real you, how about that? How do we how do we cope? Mm. So if it, under these circumstances. And it says, for better, for worse. And that is why the clause will come in and entangle you. For better, for worse. So now you are supposed to <laughs> maintain yourself until she recovers. But you know very well that body no be firewood. And anything at all. So under these circumstances, if the person goes in for someone else for that satisfaction, he loves the wife. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to lose the wife. Momentarily, the person wants to just satisfy himself somewhere or herself somewhere. Is that cheating? Yes, indeed, it is cheating. But still... Is it acceptable? It's not acceptable. And I'm not sitting on TV, and City TV wouldn't promote that, mm -hmm. and we are not promoting that. It's not acceptable. If you are in a relationship... I don't want to talk about relationship, because relationship, you are not married. You can do anything that you want. In relationships, you can do anything that you want. You want. If you feel that you are just studying but some someone. Some people say that the relationship is where fidelity starts from. So if you're in a relationship, yes. you prove your faithfulness. There you are not bounded by, there's no relationship code of ethics written anywhere. But what I know is marriage guided by the Bible. You no, know, but it's the same thing as in society. So there are no social, there's no laws or bylaws that are written of, for social conduct. Moral conduct. Or moral conduct. Exactly. But then there's a way we carry ourselves. But at the end of the day, this know. is why we are where we are right now. If we are in a relationship, we are not married. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there are certain obligations that are supposed to be on us. Mm -hmm. But we are in a relationship and we are just studying ourselves. We can, I can be studying two people at the same time as to the one who I like. One of my professors told me that he had three women. As and when he wanted to marry, he had three women. Mm -hmm. The one that loved him, the one that he loved, loved, and the one he has married. Oh, wow. What does that tell you? That's trouble. <laughs> what does that tell you? <laughs> That's trouble. That's very troublesome. So, yeah. so you see, so it means that sometimes it's not what you want that you get. Mm. It's not what wants you that you are also attracted to. Mm. But circumstances and situations will make you take a decision. Mm. And for me, I always say that whatever we do is based on decision. Love is just momentarily. Oh, I love you. I love you. You express it. Something no, but happens. Isn't, isn't, isn't love also the commitment that you make, right? Mm -hmm. That. I will stay with you mm -hmm. and be with you, protect, provide, and so on. That's love. Not necessarily just the emotional aspect of I feel like I'm in love. Sure. And I'll give you an example um, of, of, of this. There's a, a, a lady, I read a story recently, mm -hmm. and I mm -hmm. probably will, will, will not get everything right, but mm -hmm. there's a, the summary of it basically is that a, um, a couple got married, mm -hmm. and a few months into their months, yeah, maybe weeks into their marriage, um, one of them had a, uh, a fatal, no, not a fatal accident, but a very, you know, deadly yeah. accident, yeah. Um, got badly, badly injured. Yeah. And now the other partner, basically for 30 plus years, at the time the article was being written, has every day been by the side of this person mm. as the person has been in a coma. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and in hospital, and it's like there's the person has just not moved. She at will sometimes, at most, go home for two days and back at the hospital. Mm. I mean, almost every mm -hmm. day for, for the 30, 30 good years. years plus. Those are words and commitment of words. We are living by the words. And isn't that love? That is your word. It's a decision you make. Yes. He, at that particular moment yes. in time, yes. could have decided yes. that at this critical moment, I will decide to leave. Yes. 
But then, that's a, demo, for me, that's a, a demonstration, demonstration of love. A demonstration yes. of what you have committed yourself to. Okay. And really living by the words that you spoke, mm -hmm. either in front of your, 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 your people at the church or yeah. wherever. Mm. And then living by those words. Mm. Today, people are saying, I'm in love, I'm in love, they are in a relationship. The next thing is that they fall out of love. So if love can be sustained and, be, and, 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 and go on forever, yeah. why do people just go into relationships and then step out? Why do marriages still collapse? It is that people don't really live by their own words. words. People don't live by their own words. It says that, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to die for you and I. The understanding and the practical of love. Can you die for somebody? It's, it's all the way to death. All the way to death. Thank you very much. Well, we've been speaking to Speaker Ado, and uh, he's been... Um, attempting this very controversial subject <laughs> of whether you can love someone whilst you're sti still cheating on them. You know, or if you cheat on someone, can you possibly love the person? Well, thank you very much, Speaker, for yeah, talking to us this morning. Hi, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, The City Tube, for exclusive Breakfast Daily content and other City TV programs. Like, comment, and share with your friends.